fuselage. It is a main body of aircraft. It is divided into forward fuselage, mid fuselage and aft fuselage. Forward fuselage, front portion is called radome as it holds radar. Windshield enables pilot to view outside the aircraft. Cockpit, it holds pilot and useful instruments. Passenger door provides an access inside aircraft. Landing gear well, it holds nose landing gear where the nose landing gear can be stored. Mid fuselage, it holds passenger. There is a cargo compartment, fuel tank, wing attachment point and any system required for the aircraft functioning. Aft fuselage, it has passenger door, auxiliary power unit, horizontal stabilizer attachment point, vertical stabilizer attachment point. To make the fuselage airborne, the wing is fitted into it. The right side of the aircraft is starboard and the left side is port side. The portion of wing close to fuselage is inboard and away from fuselage is outboard. The front of wing is leading edge, the rear of wing is trailing edge. When you cut the wing, the resulting shape is called airfoil. As airfoil passes through air, air near top surface moves faster than air near the lower surface, resulting in less pressure on top, more pressure on bottom. This pressure difference results in lift force. Wing is fitted with flap to increase lift. Slat and flap together called as high lift device. Slat is fitted to leading edge and flap is fitted to trailing edge of wing. When both are deployed, it increases the area of wing and also its curvature. This increases lift. Aileron is a control surface attached to trailing edge of both the wings. If Aileron on one side moves up, the other side moves down. This enables the aircraft to roll. Seeing the aircraft from its rear side or its back side, if our right aileron moves down and left aileron moves up, the aircraft will roll towards left. When left aileron moves down and right aileron moves up, the aircraft will roll towards right. When you cut the wing section associated with aileron, it appears like this, where aileron matches the contour of wing. Spoilers, it is a surface attached on the top of wing. When you cut a wing section with spoiler, it looks like this. When the spoiler is deployed, it interrupts the high speed air on top of the wing, that which increases the pressure. This reduces lift, especially useful during landing. If the fuselage is only fitted with the wing, the wing may produce enough lift that may result in no sub condition or less lift may result in up and down condition. This may result in instability, causing unnecessary up and down movement. By introducing horizontal stabilizer at rear end of fuselage, the nose up and down movement can be stabilized. When wing develops more lift, causing fuselage to rotate about its CG, horizontal stabilizer develops lift that counter-rotates this and maintains the level flight. Now, the aircraft is with wing and horizontal stabilizer. The control surface named elevator is fitted to the trailing edge of horizontal stabilizer. This can be moved up and down. When elevator is moved up, air strikes elevator surface causing the tail to move down and nose to move up, resulting in pitch up condition. When elevator is moved down, it produces lift causing tail to rise and nose to move down. Here, the aircraft is pitching down. What if aircraft encounters the wind from side? This may move the aircraft sideward, causing instability. When one more stabilizer is fitted vertically in the rear fuselage, the same wind may strike the stabilizer. That results in lift force, which enables the counter-rotation against the sideward. 
motion. This stabilizes the aircraft from moving unnecessarily in a sideward direction. This surface is called as vertical stabilizer. Vertical stabilizer is fitted with rudder at its trailing edge. This rudder can be deflected right and left. When deflected left, aircraft turns left. So here the aircraft is yawing left. When deflected right, aircraft turns to right. Now the aircraft is yawing right. To support the aircraft on ground, the landing gear is fitted into it. Nose landing gear is fitted to for fuselage. It is designed such a way that it can be stored within fuselage during flight. The links designed enable it to store and deploy. Main landing gear is located near fuselage wing junction. You can see both side view and front view here. The links and joints are arranged in such a way that it is shared between fuselage and wing such that it can be stored in the wing fuselage junction. The uh, arrangement of landing gear is called as tricycle landing gear configuration. Nose landing gear can be steered right or left. Main landing gear is located closer to CG and it carries about 90% of aircraft load on ground. The position of the corresponding gears can be seen here. Turbofan engine is covered with nasal which is fitted to wing with the help of pylon. Here the engine enables the force called thrust.